It's bumping on my ears, man. It's bumping. All right, I got it. So if it falls out of the scoop this time, it's definitely small. Ooh, looky there, baby. <laughs> it ain't small, baby. Check it out. I'm really trying, guys. Trust me. It's just... <laughs> I'm not really swinging it over anything right now. There's so many freaking people out here, though. It keeps me, like, definitely optimistic that there's stuff out here. I know that there is. You just got to swing over it, you know? That's the thing about metal detecting. You just got to swing over it, man. Huge signal here, but I think it sounds like some iron, maybe. Never know about these signals in the water. I've never pulled a, uh, I think I told you guys, I've never pulled like an iPhone or anything. I'm not sure what they sound like. Do they have a little bit of iron in them maybe? Yeah, this thing's definitely like an irony signal. Probably gonna be an undesirable one. I think I got it though, let's see. See what it is, man. Is it junk? Complete and utter junk? No, look at that. <laughs> That's why sometimes you gotta dig up iron signals, man. Look at that. It's a little earring. <laughs> Probably a crusty one. That's why it sounded like iron. But uh, yeah, if I wouldn't have dug that, that would have been one less piece of jewelry on the day. So that's what's up, man. A little hoop, baby. A little hoop in the water. I'm gonna start digging up them iron signals, man. I'm not leaving any junk jewelry behind. No junk jewelry left behind. Yeah, it's still in there for sure. It doesn't sound like super, super solid, but it could maybe be deep, you know? You never know. My first guess would maybe, maybe be a penny. Let's see. I think I might have it. I think I might have it, baby. Come on with it. Do we have it? <laughs> One problem when you're working with... Uh, those shells you know it's hard to see oh yep there it is ultra crusty penny baby barnacle eyes to the fullest so got some targets in the water this might be the place to be i was hunting like in the dry or not the dry sand but the wet sand and uh yeah it wasn't really giving me the best luck i walked a, wh a while probably 10 or 15 minutes i know some guys walk literal miles but <laughs> i like digging targets personally even if they're kind of trashy you know Ooh. 95 baby right there could be in a little patch here let's see probably a coin i guess 95 is like quarter status but i think i'm probably in a decent spot in the water right here i really really wish i had some waterproofs with me right now though waterproof headphones are like essential you know when you submerge your control box i'm not gonna be able to hear the target man this is as far as i can go kind of waist deep let's see I think we got it this could be our ringer day man i'm gonna spend some good time out here in the water i think just to try to you know yep there it is try to improve my chances out here man there she is baby definitely a modern quarter look at that back almost looks like a spanish doubloon man <laughs> all right that's pretty good i think that's 35 cents or wait 36 cents in the water i'm not really sure but let's keep going baby for show for show 52.53, sounds solid. A number like that, it definitely could be gold, I think. 52.53, come on, baby. Treat me good today. I think I got it in the first scoop. Let's see, turn you guys down to the scoop real quick. Uh, if it was gold, I probably would have saw it by now. Whoops, almost just broke my freaking camera lens. Is it in there? Sometimes it's hard to see them with the shells, huh? Um, wait, is that it? No, I don't think that's it. Might still be in the hole. Let's check it out. Try to swing back over it. It was solid, yeah, okay. I think it's still down there. This thing sounds honestly amazing, though. It's bumping on my ears, man, it's bumping. All right, I got it. So if it falls out of the scoop this time, it's definitely small. 
Oh, looky there, baby. <laughs> it ain't small, baby. Check it out. Yes, sir, dude. That's what's up. First ring in the water, baby. Could be a really good day out here. Uh, I don't see anything except for a little tiny iron spot right there. So it's probably going to be just, you know, some costume jewelry. But that's still a pretty cool little ring there, huh? Can we buff out the iron spot? If we can, that's going to be a nice little ring. It's kind of like, sounds pretty good, but sounds a little bit weird, I guess. Got it in our first scoop, I think. 50s I saw on the target ID. All right, yep, that's why it sounded a little funky. It's a thing off of a girl's hair there, a little hair clip. Got a decent signal down here, I think. Sounds kind of deep. Beach P, target ID, mm. Not really give me one, but when it does, it's reading in the 40s, 44. Let's go deep on this baby, huh? Still in the hole, I think it's gonna be a deep one. Loud as she comes, it's a 50 out of the hole. See what we got, baby. Bring you guys close up for the reality of the hunt, huh? Come on, baby. And there it is, wonderful. Absolutely beautiful piece of can slaw there. One to add to the collection for sure. Let's give you guys a little bit of scenery here while I'm chilling out swinging. One thing about in the water hunts is uh, I've noticed it's harder to make a video for me at least because you just don't get as many targets, you know? Like if you're trying to make a YouTube video, in a lot of cases, you know, digging up targets is kind of, I don't know, it's good to see in my opinion. You can only do so much when you're in the water, you know? There can almost only be so much filler. I think I got a small one though. Uh, maybe a little bit bigger than small put you down here it's actually sounding a little bit like iron there's like an iron tone in it so let's try to dig it out just to see oh my goodness wait a second I think I see something under there guys I see something under the sand oh my goodness look at that Look at that, guys. Holy freaking moly. Um, I don't think that's gold. There's no way that's gold, actually. I saw it under there, and it gave me a super scare for a second, but... I mean, I'm not 100% sure, but it's pretty dang light, and there's no, like... Is that even an earring? There's no backing or anything on it. It looks gold in color, but I think I see a tiny mark on it, but I'm not sure. All right, man, that's an interesting one for sure. I saw the sparkle under the sand, and that thing dang near gave me a heart attack. I thought I had my first gold chain, dude. I'm still looking for a gold chain. About two years into the hobby of metal detecting now. Uh, I'm trying to keep an open mind, but definitely the top of the top of like my beach bucket list is probably going to be a nice like class ring or a nice gold chain. I'd say, obviously, a super nice freaking thick. Uh, golden men's ring that would be ideal or like a huge diamond on a little uh wedding band that would be amazing too but i'll take anything i can get baby anything at all a little crusty ring a quarter an earring <laughs> i'll take whatever i can get all right haven't gotten any in a little while in the water so i decided to head out of the water and up into the wet and check it out it's pretty good right there i guess huh First coin in a little while is a 1970 greeny copper penny, baby. So I'm in like a little bit of a weird spot. Uh, this one, sh shout out to all you guys who like know the beach out there. Check out this little like nook that I'm in. 
I'm in like a, I don't know, there's, there's actually like a hump over this spot. It's kind of like a dugout right here, but it seems like that there's mostly like shelly layer right here. So I don't know if the sand maybe like came off of the dry and it created this hump right here or what, but I don't know, obviously right here, I just hit a coin that was seemingly down there for a little while. So what I think I'm gonna do is just stick to this little line here for a minute. So let's see what we can get. All right, this is a different number for sure. 7776. If I had to say there was a promising signal, this one would probably be it. But let's see. Definitely in like a Shelly area right here. All right, and that's why you never know what it's gonna be under the hole. Sounded like one of the best targets of the day, man. Freaking Heineken. So I got a different setup going on here. I don't know if I showed you already, but I'll show you here in a minute. This is pretty much my first signal right here. Uh, I thought it was gonna be a bottle cap actually. And it's definitely not a bottle cap. Check it out. Hey, I think that one might be silver actually. Oh, it's an adjustable though, but it's kind of got the color of silver. So maybe, maybe silver, silver plated. All right, it looks like somebody honestly dug a hole right there. I don't know if that was another detectorist or just somebody, but I do have a signal right next to the hole, so see what we got. Sounds solid, but uh, I, I think I showed you guys this already. I actually have my control box up here by my neck because I want to be able to get in the water a little bit deeper without having to have waterproof headphones. So this is how you can get away with it. I haven't gotten in the water yet, but sounds pretty strong, solid. Let's see what we got, baby. Something good. There it is. Nothing too good, unfortunately, but it is a coin. We're on it. At least it's not another pull tab, man, huh? A lot better than another pull tab. Pretty good signal in the water here. Sounds solid. I think you guys can hear it. I got the volume playing through my headphones right now, but I think I also have it playing through the control box. It sounds good, but I only have the tone, so can't really tell. And I haven't been messing at all with like my bottle cap reject. I've gotten like one or two bottle caps that sounded pretty good. This one should be in here. Let's see, anything good? There it is, all right. Not the worst, man. Another coin to add to the collection, baby. 2013 dime. Let's keep it up in the water, huh? You guys see this? Look at all the people out here today, dude. Oh my goodness gracious. Kind of redonkulous. Another good signal down here. Just got a voice crack there. Nice. I think honestly this pool noodle at the bottom of my coil is actually making it a little bit harder to swing so I'm gonna go take this thing off afterwards. I thought it would make it easier to swing. Maybe it's in the wrong spot though. Let's see. Anything in the scoop? I think that's it right there man. Something barnacleized. Oh that ain't it. You see it? Oh still in the hole might have fallen out live digs with the XP dice too oh nice I got it. If not, the waves are definitely going to take it away from me. Let's see.
Take it to shore. No, it's gone. <laughs> I hate when that happens. Oh. No. I think it's still in the hole. No, I just dumped it out like an idiot. Yeah, I gotta learn water hunting still, that's for sure. I think I got it. Is it in the scoop? Yes, it is. What is it? It's something small, I'm pretty sure, dude. Come here. Oh, wait, wait, wait. There it is. Hello. What is that little thing? Nice, dude. Little tiny piece of jewelry in the water. See that? Nice. It says magical on it. It's got like a little tiny gemstone in there. <laughs> Definitely looks like copper, though. Not going to be gold. Hey, a little piece of jewelry, baby. Hey, if you guys enjoyed this video, feel free to hit it with a thumbs up for me, man. If you guys want to see some more like this, uh, more thumbs up this video gets, the more likely I am to come down here. So hook it up with a thumbs up for me, baby. But that's a lie. I'm going to be down here no matter what, man, even if this video only gets one thumbs up. So, hey, I appreciate you guys joining me. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. If you enjoyed, make sure to leave me a comment down below. Anything, anything at all. And before too long, we will be back out here to do some more metal detecting. So I will see you guys very soon.